Hello guys and welcome to Infinity Collectors. I am Draco and I got another unboxing for you guys today. GameStop called me and I got something really awesome. It's the uh, Wolverine 80 year Cowboy Logan GameStop exclusive. You got the nice little 80 year badge. Uh, what else we got going on here? You get an extra head, like a Maramusa blade that's all red, a couple extra hands. So I know there's been some debate about this figure um, and you know, it's like, oh gosh, another Wolverine figure, right? Come on, bub. Like we're gonna get another one. But um, they, they did do another one, and it's exclusive. It's got some cool cowboy artwork on the side. Um, so I got some opinions on it, and I think I, you know, I'm going to share them and see what, see what you guys think. You know, always comment below and let me know what you guys think. So I'm really liking the head. He looks like he's got the fangs. He's kind of vampiric, um, you know, kind of wolf, wolf-like. I love that, the vampire fangs, um, wolf fangs, whatever you want to call them. Uh, and then the hands and everything, they look pretty good. So the overall figure looks kind of similar to the motorcycle Wolverine, which I, I noticed a little bit. Um, and it's like another Wolverine figure, right? Like I said, so... It's like, I don't know, there's probably like 15 of them, if not, I, I don't know how many. I've got some other ones here that we're going to go over and compare. We're going to open it up. You know, you got your yellow Wolvi, right? You know, um, and then you got your, this is the one that came with the motorcycle, which I think it's most like. That's very similar with the boots and the pants and the shirt. Um, the, just the overall whole mold, like the, that's basically what they used. So, um, and then, you know, the, I haven't opened this one yet. We're going to do some unboxing on this one, but uh, it's a little bit similar to, as well to the, the vintage retro uh, Toy Biz packaging one as well. It's got the, the you got the blade there as well, which is all in black, and it looks like the blade is the same. And we'll do some comparisons and get to that. So let me go ahead and open up this box. Let me see, find my uh, knife somewhere. All right, found it. All right, surgery time. All right, let me just open this guy on the side here, like I always do. <laughs> okay, I was really excited to get this figure today, so and share it with you guys. So a uh, little cool X-Back packaging, things like that, you know, just pulled this guy right out. He's just got like one of those front covers Hasbro's been putting on there. You know what I didn't notice is that stupid little pamphlet, paper pamphlet they've been putting in here with like the legal stuff. It might be like stuffed in the bottom sometimes there. I'm not sure. You know what I do love about these two is I love the, I love the packaging like I always say and I love the artwork there with the, uh, the print there, the font, the font looks really cool. And what did it say on the back of the package? Wolverine is a nearly indestructible mutant with a gruff, gruff, gruff attitude and the formidable fighting skills to back it up. Ooh, okay, all right, pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, let's see, so let's check it out. Uh -huh. That's what we're looking at here. Like I said, you got the head, the uh, Maramusa blade all red and the two hands. Um, looks like it comes two closed fist hands and then you get a hand. Check out the hands, check out those real quick. Uh, these ones are a little bit open to hold an item, so it looks like they will hold the sword or the blade. And that's what those guys are for. And as usual, we'll check these out close up. So pretty cool. They look realistic. They got some uh, little, they got fingernails, they got like some little like, uh, you know, a little bit of uh, shading and, and stuff in there, like a little bit of mold in there. It looks pretty good. Um, let's check out the head. So the head. It looks very wolf-like. Um, I, I like it. It's it. Always drop these dang little heads, man. I swear to God. So let me try again. So here we go. We got this. Uh, all right, little wolf-like, and it's all kind of creepy-like. I don't know. What do you think? I mean, he's got that feral kind of overgrown cheek hair and all that kind of stuff. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Like I said, he's got the, the fangs coming in there. The hair's really detailed. The mold on it's really nice. Um, try to get the, we'll, put, we'll have to put this in the box and get some close-ups of it, but yeah, it's got like just this nice look to it. Let me show you the back of the head there. Yeah, and it's got this, come on, focus there, camera, there we go. It's got this nice, just just curls in his hair. And the overall mold looks really cool and just very wolf-like. I'm digging it, I'm digging it. Um, and we'll, we'll, we'll compare the other heads and look at the different ones from like the yellow figure and the one with the motorcycle and all that and just kind of see see the differences on them because from what I can tell, um, even though all these Wolverine figures come out, they do have these slight differences in the head and um, everybody's like, oh, they're just giving us the same crap, but, but there is some slight differences and I, I'm totally one of the people that are like, oh, Hasbro's just rinse and repeating and recycling stuff, but every single one of these Wolverine heads and figures and things like that has looked a little different. Um, it's very similar to the retro head, actually. So if you look at the retro head, it's probably the most similar head you're gonna get to the the head I just showed you, which is this one that comes with the figure. 
They're very, very uh, similar. Let me see if I can get the focus to go there. There we go. So they got that vampiric kind of look to them. And um, yeah, so let's take a look at the figure now. Let's just pull him out. All right, got him out. So he looks a lot like the, uh, the motorcycle one. Let's do a little side by side here. Come with a little bit different heads, but uh, very similar. They got the same boots, the same height, same boots. They got the same jeans. Let me see if there's any differences on the jeans. Not really, it looks like the same pattern and design. They're just a different color. So same exact boots, same exact pants, same exact shirt. It's the same body mold completely as the motorcycle Wolverine. So you're not getting anything special there. I mean, you're just kind of rinse and repeat there on the body. Um, but you are getting, looks like they put some, and I'll, again, we'll get some close-ups on these, but he's got some chest hair there on the top in here. I don't know if you can see that too well. And then this one does not. So that's like a little detail they added. And then, but everything else looks pretty much the same. The arm hair looks the same. And the overall, like I said, the entire mold and everything. So the, really the, the different part um, even the silver on the claws is almost exactly the same. So the, the only real part is that head mold you're getting. You're getting a new head mold compared to the sword or the, the head in the motorcycle one and the, uh, the Maramusa blade, you know, is, is just black there. So let's take a look at the Maramusa blade next. Let's see this, uh, hmm. So you got the Nothing too spectacular. It's a it's a red red blade. I'll hold it on the tip here and kind of show you the the handle. So it's got some uh, some black. Let me see if I can get to focus there. It's got some black going on. Not the part I put in the box. This is not focusing very well at all. There we go. Ah. Anyway, it's probably too skinny. So I'll put it in the box. But it's got some it's got some detail on the handle, like some little bit of black and whatnot. But uh, Overall, pretty much, pretty much the same exact blade that comes in the. Uh, and I haven't, like I said, I haven't opened this one yet, but the, the retro one, it's the same, it's the same stuff, same staff, same size, same everything, same exact thing. So, yeah, you know, a lot of rinse and repeat with the Wolverine stuff, but there's these little nuances and differences that if you really pay attention, you'll notice. Um, I kind of, I love the smirk on the new head, the head mold, because you're not gonna get, you haven't seen that that smirk like that. It's actually pretty funny. He's got like a nice little smirk going on. So I'm digging that. Awesome, cool. So what else What else we got going on here? I mean, not, not much else. I mean, it's a pretty straightforward figure. It's a GameStop exclusive, so you get the red blade, and you get that different head mold, a little bit of chest hair. Um, but other than that, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty basic figure. So let's actually throw these all in the box, and we'll compare all three side by side with the heads and all that, and we'll see any uh, major differences that we, we can see. Um, yeah. So this was a pretty straightforward unboxing review of this guy, uh, but overall I think it's a solid figure. Um, you know, it, and especially if you don't, if you only get particular Wolverines or you want certain looks or certain ones. I even think like swapping some of the heads would look really cool or look really cool on the motorcycle because I wasn't completely stoked with the the motorcycle Wolverine, which is which was that guy. So I mean, you can probably mix some parts around and make them look like really cool on the motorcycle or do do what you want to do, right? So it's really cool that you have such a selection with Wolverine, such a popular character. So I'm sure. Um, someone is, you know, like a lot of us are stoked to to get some different different things. And I personally like the the black. Um, it's just a, I just like the black boots and the black tank. It's just a little bit more rugged and tougher looking to me. So it's pretty cool to to have all these different things now. Like I actually kind of prefer this one on my on my motorcycle versus the uh, the uh, the white tank. So yeah. So that's about it. Uh, I really appreciate you guys checking out this figure with me. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, turn on that notification bell. Uh, I'm, I really love to talk collecting and, and reply to your guys' comments. So um, look forward to the next unboxing. Not sure what I want to do yet, but I'll, I'll have something good for you, I promise. I'll see you guys next time.